Ah, yes. Welcome, fools, mortals, to the medic of poetry. With me, not Michael, Dylan. <laughs> and today, I will read to you a most scary tale about a stupid bird, a raven. This is called The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. All right, where's my copy? Ah, hmm. Okay, let me, let me start off with this here and put it down. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Once upon a midnight dividdy, while I pondered weak and witty, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten law, while I nodded, nearly napping. Hmm. Suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Here's some visitor, I muttered. Tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, what was that? Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December. And each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the flock. Ghost? Hmm. I don't like ghosts. Eagerly I wish the morrow. Vainly I had sought to burrow. <coughs> the books surcease of sorrow. Sorrow for the lost letter. Enough! The rare and radiant maiden. Maiden. Whom the angels name Lenore. Nameless here. Evermore. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. It's just the wind. Just the wind. Just the wind! <laughs> and the silk and sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me. Filled me with a fantastic terror never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating. Is some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door? Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door? This it is, and nothing more. Ah, presently, my soul grows stronger. Hesitating, it no longer. Sir, said I. Oh, madam, fully your forgiveness, I implore. But the fact is I was napping so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Darkness! I'm getting a little scared here. Deep into the darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming, dream no more, so ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Linda! This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lena! <gasps> back into the chamber, turning 
All my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard the rapping somewhere louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what there it is and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. <laughs> Mm. Open here I flung the shutter When with many a flirt and flutter In their steps they the Raven Of the saintly days of yore Not the least What is this word? Obeisance Obeisance What's that? Hmm Made he not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mien of lord or lady perched above my chamber door. What is this raven here? Perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door. Perched and sat and nothing more. Ah, ah, hmm? Ah, ah. I'm getting a little scared here. Mm. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling I'm always smiling By the grave and stern decorum of the countenance's war Though thy crest be shored and shaven thou I said Art sure no craven Ghastly grim and ancient raven Wandering from the nightly shore, tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quote the raven. Never more. <gasps> Who said that? That's it. I'm out of here. No more. No, never more. Never more. Never more. Never more. Telling this stupid poem. Open. Open. Open.